So uh, I am the UFC translator for all the events in Brazil. I'm the guy who gets to go into the octagon and translate the post-fight interviews. And I also do all the press conferences and all the interviews with foreign press when they need to talk to Brazilian fighters. I got this job because I, I work a lot with a sports uh, industry and I've done many different sports. And one of the press officers for the UFC had worked with me before and invited me to work with the UFC. The first UFC that I did inside the octagon was UFC Billy Dizonchi. So in this very same uh, arena about a year ago. And uh, that was a very fun moment. I used to do the interviews behind the scenes, the, on the backstage interviews. But it was the first time I was going into the octagon and I had the famous UFC jitters of going in there for the first time in front of a crowd. Uh, of the, the arena was packed back then, it was a full house. And uh, to sometimes it's difficult because the fighter, the, the crowd boos what the fighter has said, but they obviously only boo when I translate. So it's as if they were booing me, but they're actually booing what the fighter has just said because he's probably a foreigner and is, has just beaten a Brazilian or something like that. Uh, I think every single moment is very uh, a lot of fun, but I think the most uh, impressive thing is I obviously was a UFC fan. I had watched many fights on TV, but being able to be up close on the octagon, just like a meter away from the cage, and see the fighters there that before I used to see at home on TV, that is amazing. And that reminds me of the, the best fight uh, in my opinion so far when I saw Glover Teixeira who's on the main card tonight and uh, Fabio Maldonado that fight was amazing I don't know how Fabio Maldonado was able to take so many punches and so much ground and pound which is what he was suffering but it was a great fight yeah uh, what can go wrong when you're doing a translation well one of the what has gone wrong and what is something that can go wrong is that I have a small earpiece to be able to hear the questions but as you can see, it's only in one ear. And uh, when the crowd gets very loud, it's not enough. So what went wrong once is once uh, the crowd was just so loud because uh, it was actually a fight, it was a fight against Lioto. And when Lioto had lost the fight, the, with Phil Davis exactly the crowd didn't stop shouting the crowd was very very loud so I couldn't hear the answers that Phil Davis was giving and I had to like kind of get closer and closer to be able to hear him and that was a very tough moment because I had to just pick up the few words that I could hear and try to decipher what he had said uh, there's a big difference. I, uh, definitely the first time I was here I got the jitters. As I say, it was, it was nervous, it was difficult to be there. Uh, and also it's, it's been different now because I've worked with Joe Rogan, I've worked with John, I've worked with Brian in last UFC Rio, so now I've had more experience. I've worked with more interviewers when they go into the octagon. Uh, I also don't have the jitters as I used to have uh, when I went in for the first time. And I think the other difference is the fighters know me now. They trust me. They know that I'm going to do a good translation. I'm going to be uh, faithful to what they have said. In the f at, at the beginning, some fighters were like, no, I want my translator. I'm, I, they were worried. Nowadays, I think I have a very good relationship with the press, with the fighters, so everyone knows me. And also with Tobias, and that, that helps a lot. We, we, you know, uh, translators sometimes, uh, sorry, not the translators, the fighters sometimes they use inappropriate language, but we need to remember that the fighters are very emotional, they've just won a fight, they've just had, I uh, know, like a few minutes, up to 15 minutes, or in some cases 25 minutes of, of fight inside the cage, and so sometimes the, 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 the adrenaline is so high that people understand if they use inappropriate language, but as a professional interpreter, I cannot do that, so no, I do not translate when they use inappropriate language, I try to correct it. And yes, uh, as you say, the fighters, not so much the bad language, but sometimes the fighters have regional accents. Brazil is a very large country, and we get people from all over Brazil. So some people have difficult accents, and some of them forget to take their mouth guards out, which makes it even more difficult. Uh, yes, there's, there's one case when a fighter used an expression in Portuguese saying it, it wasn't a bad word, it's, it's a bad word, but he actually meant it in a nice way. It was in a UFC Fortaleza, Verdun, when he finished the fight, he said, esse lutador é foda. And uh, 
it's it, he, he actually said it in a sense that he's a very tough guy he's a very good fighter so when I translated it I said tough because I knew he was uh, not only was I not going to use the inappropriate language but I was I knew he meant something good he said he meant the other fighter was a very tough fighter Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for watching Ground and Pound TV.